This video is another narrated speed paint. In this case, the drawing whose creation will be depicted is called Broke Down Out in a Ditch of Old Rubbish. Let's check that now. We start here with the original sketch. And looking back at it, I, I see this original sketch looks kind of crappy. Really, I should have, um, refined the sketch a bit before uh, actually taking it into GIMP. Just because that would probably simplify the process of uh, converting this into a proper drawing. Because then I wouldn't have to deal with the whole process of, you know, um... Compensating for the problems in the drawing while I'm already trying to uh, map the details of the sketch into a full drawing. Anyway, uh, I begin by adding the cardboard color to the box here after I select around it to highlight the shape of the box. Sorry about that. Um, just got a tickle in the back of my throat. In fact, <coughs> yeah. Okay, I should be ready to go now. Anyway, what I was saying is, this part of the drawing is just where I um, select around the box. And then I fill that into the color of the box. So, get a nice silhouette of that box. You can see that I've fixed the uh, colors there, so it now actually looks like cardboard. Here I'm just uh, outlining the actual character. Because the character is the... Uh, the subject of the drawing, so, you know, not starting work on him early seems a bit, uh, sacrilegious for lack of a better word. I'm just adding his markings right now, and, you know, that's, I actually don't hate doing that. Uh, partially because that's another just, partially just logical thing. And I don't mind that stuff. Here I'm just trimming his hand up and improving that. And uh, you can see that OBS again uh, lost the GIMP window. Train sounds again. But uh... What was I saying? I can't remember. Oh yeah. Uh, stop until I speak again and then play it again. Nice. Same goddamn thing. Play it again. Okay, you can see that I'm just drawing the character's foot here and uh, separating between his toes so I can add the shading there more easily. Here I'm just fattening up some markings. And now I've moved on to the process of adding fur which I, for some ungodly reason, do before I add shading. I'm just adding more fur there. I think I've said this in a previous video, but I actually like doing that. I 
I don't really have much else to say on that, but here I'm actually getting to shading, and uh, you can see that I'm just selecting uh, individual reason, regions of his foot when I add shading. Uh, the reason for that is just that, you know, it, it simplifies keeping stuff uh, separate and not just adding global shading when I actually meant to add local shading, which I've, I've done before. One of these days I'm going to kick his ass. Um, Hopefully it really sounds nice. Probably not. Um, anyway, back to what I was saying. The reason I select individual reason, regions of his foot is, uh, you know, if I don't do that, then what ends up happening is, uh, shading for his toes ends up running together. And that looks pretty bad. So, uh, you know, this is a nice... A uh, cheap way of preventing that. Same more thing here when I add the uh, highlights and the shading to the character's hand. I select individual parts of his hand first, and then I actually add the shading. I think it got some pretty good results for this. Uh, granted, I'm not too happy with the look of his foot. I think I could have, uh, stood to reach all that. Adding some more shading here because, well, I was. Anyway, the reason for that is just that, you know, when you do the shading before you add the fur texturing, uh, you sometimes see that the fur texturing kind of obscures the shading work that you're supposed to see. And that looks bad because it looks like you have this drawing with all this nice fur texture on it, but then no shading. Which, uh, that's actually what I used to do, and the results were as bad as you'd imagine. I'm adding some uh, finer fur shading uh, because what I generally do is um, I add what I call the coarse fur shading, which is the equivalent of um, the, the clumps you see in long fur. Those cast shadows onto themselves, but drawing each clump individually in this style would be tedious as all hell, so. I just make a nice compromise by using a large brush and um, I, I add some spots and then I use that same large brush to smear those spots and that ends up creating some shade. You know, it's a, for what it is, I think it generates pretty good results. Here I'm just fixing up some uh, fur texturing. And now I'm adding the uh, claw holes, is what they're called, in the layers. Just because uh, his feet don't really look right without them. Um, you know, I don't know if you would call that just a marking or what. But, you know, I just think his feet look better with him. Here's uh, OBS being a piece of junk again. There I was just uh, adding some highlights to the box because that box is not immune to shading. 
Here I'm adding the room in which the box sits. The first thing I do here is add ambient occlusion because uh, the drawing would look like crap without it. Here I'm cutting out puffy so uh, so I can have a nice uh, framed portrait of puffy on the wall. I'm actually really pleased with how that beveling turned out. Man, I apologize. You really can't see much of this at all. It sucks. Here I'm um, creating the concrete texture. And uh, the way I did that, I think it looks pretty good. Is uh, I go in here to GIMP. And I use the uh, plasma filter. Which looks like this. And you might think, hey, that doesn't look like that doesn't look much like concrete at all. I think you've lost your mind. And maybe I have lost my mind, but I do think that this looks pretty good when it's converted into grayscale. Right there. See, that looks fairly like concrete. And then you just stretch that out. To fit the walls and the floor. And I add some nice electrical tape there to keep the quotes to live by hanging up. Fixing up some broken looking ambient occlusion around the walls, and I'm adding a bit of a fold to that paper. Well, not a fold, but just a bend, I guess you'd call it. Here I'm adding some, uh, box texturing basic stuff and then we're done so in the spirit of the previous video I will now pull up the finished product and we can have a look at that The full thing is, should now be visible on the screen. I'm going to zoom in here. Just so you can see all that detail. And so I can draw attention to this. I will um, read the quote which I have attributed to me here, just because I think it's kind of funny. And chances are you won't be able to find it if you just type in what it looks like, because it's something I said, and I'm not the most popular person in the world. Stop making excuses for computer programmers who would best serve as lubrication for garbage disposals. Is uh what I wrote there. And, uh, I stand by that demand. Anyway, that'll be the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, if you didn't, then please tell me why. I would love to improve these in the future.